Hey guys, I am Syed from Linux Plus. Today, I will be showing you how to dual boot any Ubuntu along with your Windows. Dual boot means a system with two operating systems that lets you install and use two operating systems on your same PC. The good thing is, you can install or dual boot Ubuntu along with your Windows just by following some simple steps. In this video, I will show you these steps so anyone knowing nothing about Ubuntu and anyone knowing nothing about dual boot can install this perfectly and of course without using any data. So without any further ado, let's get started. So in your first step, you need to download Ubuntu and Power ISO. I'll leave the download link in the description below so you can download it from there. And here I'm going to use Ubuntu 220.04. I will recommend you to use uh, any uh, long term support version. If you talk about the power ISO, some people don't like that because uh, they receive alert from their antivirus while downloading power ISO. So if you want to stay extra safe, then you can use Rufus. It's not a big deal, but I feel comfortable with power ISO. That's why I'm going to use power ISO here. So if you wish, you can use any application to make bootable USB. You just need to make a bootable USB. That's it. So after downloading them, uh, you need to make a bootable USB. So for that, you need to insert a pen drive or USB pen drive, uh, minimum 4 GB. Let's open uh, PowerSO as an administrator. As I'm using a free version, I need to wait and continue unregistered. And after that, uh, just uh, hit the tools and then create bootable USB drive. And then select your USB drive, right USB drive, and then you need to choose the Ubuntu ISO file that just downloaded. Uh, so that's the file I have downloaded. So let's open it. So that's it. And after that, just uh, hit the start button, then OK. And I think that's it. Uh, you need to wait a little bit and after waiting you will see a successful message then ok then close it so our usb pen drive is ok and you can see it's showing 3 mb it was actually 8 gb pen drive so i'll show you how to fix it in the at the end of the video so don't forget to check the end of this video there i'll show you how to get your pen drive back if you don't want to use power so I, I already told you i recommend you to use power so but if you don't want to use it you can use the rufus now i'm going to show you how to do it it's an optional if you did eat this uh, with power so you don't need to make again bootable usb i'm just showing you how to do this using rufus so just uh, select iso file select your drive and then uh, start uh, as i already made an uh, bootable usb using power so i'm not gonna do it again so after that you need to right click on your pc my uh, this pc and then manage and then we will show this you know From here, I need to make some free space to install Ubuntu there. You can uh, make free space from anywhere, from any drive, or you can uh, shrink volume, or you can even, you can delete any drive. And I'm going to delete the drive, 30 GB drive. You can now uh, make a 30 GB, 40, 50, or even 100 GB for your Ubuntu. I'll recommend you to make at least a 30 GB so you can install Ubuntu easily then. So after that, uh, you need to restart your PC and uh, get into your boot selection device. In my case, as I'm using Gigabit motherboard, I had to use uh, F12 button to open this setup. Uh, in your case, it can be different. It can be F2, it can be delete, it can be escape or any other button. Just find out a way how you can uh, boot your USB drive. So after that uh, you will see that uh, menu try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu as I'm going to install Ubuntu so I'm going to select the install Ubuntu uh, you can try Ubuntu by using this option try Ubuntu after that uh, choose keyboard layout and then next and after that uh, there you will see normal installation and uh, minimal installation I will recommend you to go with the normal installation because there you will get uh, all the software with drivers and make sure your internet is connected uh, if not 
you need to connect to the internet and if you don't have an option then yeah you can do it later no problem but uh, if you don't connect to the internet then you will not get option for uh, choosing download updates and install third party software so let's uh, continue so after that uh, here is the most important part um, don't select a erase disk or install ubuntu alongside windows select something else because uh, manual is always better you can do whatever you want so here you can see our free space and our uh, other drives so the most important part is don't delete any drive that you need okay if you delete any drive it will be permanently deleted so be careful with that don't delete any drive where uh, your personal data or photos or information are stored uh, you can see we already made a free space uh, we are gonna use this space so we need don't need to delete any drive just use the free space to use the free space i need to select the free space then the plus icon below and you can see it's 30 gb here and uh, if you are using uh, a pc with uh, four less than 4 gb ram then you need to create a 2 gb swap area just uh, select space and create the swap you can make a 2 or 3 gb for swap area if, if your ram is uh, less than 4 gb and uh, as i have uh, more than 4 gb ram i'm not gonna make any swap area here so let's cancel it so let's uh, create a root drive here just select the free space then plus icon and then uh, select the size uh, it's 30 gb for me now select a primary and uh, beginning of this space and then uh, ext4 journalizing file system uh, you have to select a use as ext4 file journalizing file system and then uh, mount point you have to set uh, the root so that's mean your uh, ubuntu is gonna install there uh, you can install uh, create another drive uh, for home so i'm not gonna create home here because uh, home is not that much important so just uh, create the root drive so here is the root drive so our ubuntu will install there and now the next part is uh, device for bootloader installation you have to select a full hard drive location here say you have one terabyte hard drive then you have to select the full one terabyte hard drive if you're using two drive then select your main drive where your uh, windows are loaded say if your windows is uh, loaded into ssd drive and uh, you have one more you know, one terabyte sdd then you have to select here uh, your full ssd and uh, if you have only one drive then select uh, the full drive so the next part is uh, install so just hit the install now button so if it's okay then hit continue and after that uh, you have to select your location then hit continue and you have to create your account uh, your inf fill up your information that hit continue after that it will take uh, 5 to 10 minutes maybe 30 minutes you have to wait and after that uh, you will get a menu pop-up menu saying that restart now so if you see this uh, notification you have to remove your usb drive and then you you can hit the restart button and after restarting you will see that uh, grab menu it's a dual boot menu uh, from here you can get into ubuntu and get into windows so let's uh, open ubuntu now so you can see it's uh, working fine uh, so it's logged into our system so it's uh, working fine so now let's see our if our windows is working or not so for that you have to restart uh, your ubuntu and then restart and then select windows windows 10 or whatever version in your case and log into your windows so you can see windows is working just fine so now let's see how to clean your usb drive and get your usb drive pin drive back so for that you need to open power so as an administrator and then continue unregistered as i'm using a free version and then tools then clean usb drive and select your usb and then clean it and hit ok so after a moment you will see this message so hit ok now we have to format this drive again so let's format it So that's it, uh, hit OK. Oh, here we go. Uh, we got our uh, 8GB USB drive back. 
so thank you guys thank you for watching if you have any problem or any question you can leave that in a comment below i'll always try to be there to help you if you dislike this video you can hit the dislike button but if you like it or it helped you then hit like get subscribed and hit the bell icon to stay notified and this side signing out see you in the next one ubuntu is a customizable os if you want to make your ubuntu just like macOS, check out my new video link in the description or somewhere up in the video